Hey, it's Kimmy the Gadget Goddess, and today I have for you my first impressions on the Xiaomi Mix Flip. I'm outside, disregard the cicadas. Wanted to give y'all a little touch of nature. It's been a while since I've been able to shoot outside. What a better place to shoot my first impressions on the Xiaomi Mix Flip. I'm gonna give you my likes, my dislikes, and even a little life hack here at the beginning. So, let's get right into this phone. Let's go. First, I'll touch on why I have this different clear case on the phone. Nothing spectacular about this case. It was a cheaper case that I ordered and decided, yeah, I'll just stick with the Xiaomi OEM case. If you hadn't watched that video, I'll plug it here. But you can see this is a very clean case versus my fingerprint covered OEM case. So I'm gonna give you a life pack and I'm gonna show you how to make your phone cases finger resistant so we can stop saying this is a fingerprint magnet. So that's my first life hack. We're gonna start off with that in this video. I will put timestamps in the video. If you don't care for this life hack, just skip ahead to the next section. This solution here is nothing more than two teaspoons of rinse aid, two teaspoons of vinegar, and two teaspoons of dishwashing liquid, then a fourth a cup of warm water. Now most people are putting this in a spray bottle. I'm just using it on my cases, but you can also use this on mirrors and other surfaces, microwaves and whatnot that get fingerprints notoriously. These are just regular fast food napkins. I should have gotten a microfiber cleaning cloth, but I grabbed what was available and I'm just gonna wipe this whole surface down really good. And you see it's cleaning it right up. And you know, we always clean them right up, but it's just the fact that as soon as you get it clean, as soon as you touch it again, it's back to fingerprint city. Now that I have that wiped off really well, I have a couple streaks in here, so you really should get a microfiber cleaning cloth, but you'll see as I put my hands in here and touch it, it's not leaving any fingerprints. So that's my life hack for you today. I imagine it works just as well on phone screens, like your screen protectors that are glossy. I still won't go back to glossy, but at the same time, I'm like, hey, people who don't like my matte, that'll work for them. So make sure you try that out on your actual screen protectors because that could save you a lot of wiping. I also use that just as well on my Leica camera on my Vivo. Multi-uses, trying to keep y'all helped out. Now that we got the case all cleaned up, I still took the case off because hey, we're, we're featuring the phone, so we want to show it in all its greatness. I'm going to give you my dislikes first because I don't have tons of them, but you know, got to keep it real. There's no phone is perfect. My first dislike. You know how you can use this phone either way to type. And here, here's the keyboard. And if you flip it upside down, you have even more leverage with the keyboard. It gets wider. I often use my phone this way. And the one downfall I found is I can only use the Xiaomi keyboard out here. See, if I open up the same app on the inside of my phone, you will see that this is a personalized keyboard that I use from FlexKey. I like using FlexKey on my phone regardless. So I don't like the fact that I can't use it on the outer screen. That's my first dislike. Number two, I love this home screen. Very much gives me phone home screen vibes. You know, I have my now playing, I have widgets over here, my calendar. I can add more. These are just the three I use, just like I can add more apps out here, but I can't add all the apps. I've had this asked in a previous video and no, all of your apps are not sent out here and there's no rhyme or reason to what they send. So I can't say, hey, they don't send Google apps because I have my phone and my messenger here and Chrome and things of that nature. But Take for instance, I have Uber out here. Why can't I have Uber Eat out here? I don't know. I have Uber and Uber Eat downloaded and I can only put Uber out here. I can put Waze out here. It's really nice to have my GPS on the outer screen. I use it every day because my commute can vary. So it's nice to have the home screen, give me home screen vibes, but then I'm also always swiping up to try to get to the rest of my apps because it's muscle memory. I see a home screen, I wanna go to an app and it's not that way. Again, I can add more apps out here, but they're not frequently used apps that I use all the time, so there's no point in me putting them out here. So that's gripe number two. Limited usability on the outer screen, home screen vibes, but not really a home screen feel. 
Last but not least, I had RCS issues when I first got the phone. It was doing like it did on my previous Vivo, not the Vivo X Fold 3, but the Vivo X Fold, to where it was telling me things like, oh, your pictures won't go through. Oh, you can't send RCS messages from this phone. It's not capable. And it was spending days at a time trying to connect. I had to go search the forums, and it wasn't that I searched the forums for this phone. I basically searched the forum for people having RCS issues. So I don't know if it's limited to this device or if it's a connection error with my provider. I have T-Mobile. I cleared the issue up by clearing cache, resetting the app. I don't have all the steps off the top of my head, but it fixed it and my RCS started working. It's one of those things where everybody likes to plug and play. So when I first got the phone, I was just like, okay, not this again. I mean, you get a Chinese variant phone, you have Chinese variant issues. And the rumor is this phone is supposed to come global. So we'll see if it comes global. I don't know. Um, it's always a rumor that things are gonna be global. I think the Xiaomi Fold 4 is supposed to come global as well. But again, we shall see. You know, nothing shocks me anymore. Now, on to the good news. It took me a while to get to this first impressions video because I wanted to give it a true first impressions, not I like this phone because it's my new device and it's fun. I've used this outer screen on this flip more than I've used on any of my flips. And I love the outer screen on this phone, whether it be me sending texts or messages to my crew in Discord. I will say that I would like a feature where it's like continue on the outer screen, but I don't think they offer that because these two screens are treated independently of one another. So once I close the flip, the phone locks. Once I open it, I've had camera continue when I open it, but for the most part, it treats it like this is a different screen than this one is. See, it just locked itself. That's the thing. <laughs> but it's very much an enjoyable experience using this outer screen. Battery life is great. I've gotten two days plus. I can't squeeze three days out of it. I mean, hey, for my phones that I carry now, I'm charging every other day. My watches, I'm not charging, but every five days. So it's a joyful experience not having to be stuck to a charger for any of my devices at this point. So two days plus, I've had two updates since I've had the phone. Shout out to Xiaomi. I, I like when I get a new phone and it's constantly being updated. Makes me feel like they still care about me, not just the fact that I bought a phone from them. The other thing that was pleasant is you know Xiaomi has an ecosystem and I have the Xiaomi pad. I didn't have to go through and set up this device per se. I did have to log into all of my apps, but I connected this to my Xiaomi pad and everything came over and it logged me into my Xiaomi account. Love the ecosystem when I'm switching from one device to another, whether it be Vivo, whether it be Xiaomi, whether it be Apple. I like that these companies are like, hey, if you're gonna be down with us, we're gonna help you out. So for anybody using other Xiaomi devices, it does transfer over and sync well with other devices. The fingerprint setup on this phone was the easiest setup I've had on any device I've had to date. It was more or less brushing my finger back and forth, but it was really quick. I went through that fingerprint process quick as I don't know what. I do have good fingerprints. I know some people struggle to get those things set up because their fingerprints you know, they work in a manual type of field to where they're always, you know, beating their hands up. Me, on the other hand, I work in an office. My fingerprints are pretty prevalent. I've had my fingerprints done multiple times for multiple reasons. The setup is really easy and it often recognizes my fingerprint or it often recognizes my face very easily. Love that. People often ask me, is this your main device? When I say I carry two devices, I use them pretty balanced. I will take calls on both phones. If I'm in the mood to use a regular phone and have it open, uh, right now I'm using an old iPhone testing out the whole RCS thing back and forth. I have the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I'll take calls over there. I'll forward calls over here. I've been able to take calls with the phone closed and the phone open. People haven't said anything sounds different or weird. I do think it's really kind of funny to be holding up such a small screen to your face but no complaints. Sometimes when you pick up a phone, you don't wanna to have to go through the trouble of opening it up. I just swipe up to answer the call and take the call. 
calls clear concise perfect it's the little things uh, i'll mention this small thing let's go to x so when i go to an app you'll notice the widget changes just like the app does so just like i go to my home screen it's purple if i go to x because i have it in dark mode it's black and youtube will do the same now youtube does work out here right if you want a full screen you're going to turn the phone sideways so to me that's still watchable for some people that might not be watchable and uh, yeah more or less so um, I decided to you turn it this right way because i didn't say but it gets pretty loud as you can see that's not even like on the high setting and everything's clear and i have watched videos like this if i'm just lounging watching tv if you are hanging out and you multitask like I do because I can watch videos and do other things. I can fire this up and I'm able to do this and something else at the same time. And being that I have that new case, I can prop it up or I can use the phone itself as a prop because, you know, from the sideways angle, I can just prop it like this. I think I've saved the best for last. And again, these are just first impressions. I will revisit this whole scenario here in a couple more weeks. Cameras. I'm behind the camera right now. You see me? But look at my camera setup. I have two shutters, right? I can take pictures from here or I can take pictures from here. I can also use my volume rocker and it gives me a two second timer by default. I didn't set that up, it came like that. You can go in and change that stuff. Cameras are nice. If I flip up, once I open the phone, I can give my person who's on the other end of the phone access to see. So once I did that, see it opened up so the person can see what they look like. It's kind of neat. All your little settings, you have pro mode, uh, movie mode, photos, portrait, documents, and things of that nature, night mode. I am enjoying this camera. I will drop some pictures in here for you. I can't complain. I, selfie wise, I don't take tons of selfies, but I'll drop a selfie or two in here. I find it much easier to take with the timer and everything else, but if you just want to take pictures i think this is a great camera and i come from the land of vivo huawei xiaomi oppo one plus everybody has their cameras that they like a lot of samsung people love samsung cameras i'm not crazy about them i'm not crazy about iphone cameras so usually my import is going to be my camera of choice and with this one i don't feel like i'm restricted or it takes bad pictures and of course, if you have not checked out my video on the Xiaomi OEM case, official case from Xiaomi, check that out. Love this case. Love the multiple positions I can put it in. I would like to thank you for stopping by my channel and checking out my first impressions on the Xiaomi Mix Flip. If you've enjoyed this video, please click the like button. If you've enjoyed multiple videos on this channel, consider subscribing. Subscriptions are free, memberships cost, and memberships have privileges. If you would like to see what those privileges are, please click on the join button and see what those memberships have to offer you. I'd like to thank you for your time because time is money and I hope to catch you on the next video on this channel. Holla!